Good morning guys, how are you all doing? We've got a food challenge. I'm actually really excited for this one. So I haven't seen anybody do it. I feel like I might be original for a video for a change instead of copying everyone else. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. But for today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is a video where I only eat from supermarket cafes for 24 hours. or has somebody already did that? Somebody's probably already did that. But I'm gonna allow myself to think it's original for this few minutes, okay? Well, there's three cafes in my area. Well, there's three, there's more than three supermarkets, but there's three supermarkets of cafes. To be fair, Asda has its own cafe, but it's a McDonald's. And I kinda don't wanna eat McDonald's in this video, just because I feel like that's not really the point of the video. I wanna eat from the actual supermarket cafes. So we're gonna be going to test Cafe, doodle 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 Morrison's Cafe, doodle 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 do, and Sainsbury's Cafe, doodle 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 do. So I've had a look this morning at the timings that the cafes are opened because I presumed they would shut quite early. And the Sainsbury's one shuts at four because I was going to go there for my tea, but that's just going to be too early for me tea. So Morrison's is open the latest at six o'clock. So that's going to be the cafe where I have my evening tea. And then I'm going to go to um, Tesco now for my breakfast and Sainsbury's is going to be my lunch. I'm really, really excited. And I'm also going to have to pick up some snacks from the cafe and a few drinks while I'm I'm there so that I can have them throughout the day as well in case I get hungry between the meals but I'm so excited because I've not eaten the um, supermarket cafe in ages and when I do it's usually really delicious food and I really like supermarket cafe food so yeah I'm excited off we'll go to Tesco for our breakfast and I need a strong coffee because like I'm only half awake this morning I'm just like nah not today like I struggled to get up this morning but anyway this breakfast better be good or I will cry. Let's go to Tesco. And there she is, Tesco, where I'm having my breakfast. My Tesco's always had this tower thing and it's a bit strange looking, isn't it? Saying my Tesco as if I bloody own the place. My throat is so dry. I've not even had a gas, like a drink of water this morning. I need a coffee. I need food. Okay guys, so I got the vegan breakfast, a medium Americano, and then I also got an apple can drink as well. Either for now or later, just depending on when I fancy it. And the total was £9.15, which I don't actually think is too bad. As if I've slopped on my top already, I don't know what the heck that could be, or it's a stain that hasn't come out in the washing, and I've just not even noticed, so love that for me okay guys so this is the vegan breakfast actually a pretty decent one so we'll have some beans a tomato that has been grilled we'll have some brown toast a little flora as well which is great although okay that is the original which is still vegan because the buttery one is no longer vegan but that's good an avocado two vegan sausages a mushroom and then some spinach which doesn't look like it's being cooked i think the spinach is just there but overall this is a pretty decent breakfast especially for five pound odd Okay guys, so my breakfast is done. I've ate everything. It was delicious. I'm going to give it a strong 8 out of 10. The only thing I think could improve it is a bit of vegan bacon, hash brown. And yeah, I feel like that would give it a 10 out of 10. But it was really lovely. It would definitely have it again. And for £5, I feel like it was a bargain. You may be looking at me and thinking I've just been to the Bahamas for a week. But I haven't. It's a spray tan. I'm looking very glowing and I'm very happy because I just love having a tan. Okay guys, so I'm just jumping on quickly to let you know that this section of the video is very kindly sponsored by Air Up. If you've been following us on Instagram, you'll know that I've been using the Air Up water bottle for around a month now and I've tried a few flavours, but it's that time where I'm gonna change up my flavour and I thought it was a perfect opportunity to talk to you about Air Up. So this is my water bottle. I went for this gorgeous orange one, as you can see here. I think she's beautiful. I love her. We've grown a connection over the last month. 
we've become best pals she's always in my hand she's always by my side just my emotional support so what makes the air up water bottle different to any other water bottle is the little scent pods that you can put onto your bottle to give your water a taste through scent which basically means although you are still drinking just plain water it gives you a taste of whatever scent pod you use which makes it feel like you're actually drinking something other than water but you're not it has all the same health benefits it literally is just water you're drinking but it doesn't seem that way so if you're someone like me who is constantly wanting a drink but doesn't want to drink water for example i'm always looking for juices pops cokes coffee just anything going i want to drink it over water well these pods have definitely encouraged me to drink more water because drinking the water it doesn't feel like it's water that i'm drinking not only that but the air up water bottle is 25 to 50 times less plastic than your average drinking bottle that you would go and buy from a shop each pod can flavour around five litres of water so you can reuse your pod quite a few times and there's lots of different flavours to choose from and you can customise your bottle so I went for this gorgeous orange one because it's just such a happy colour and I love it. Anyway it's time for me to change my pod so I've been using the coffee pod for the last I would say week and a bit but it's time for a new pod so you just pull your pod off like that it's super easy to do and then my new pod I'm gonna try the peach ones I've not tried peach yet but I'm very excited because I love a peach iced tea so I've got high hopes for this peach your little peachy peach right let's get in and try the peach okay so your pods come like this and then you just peel this off and grab your pod oh my god ignore my fake tan hands they're quite bad that is after washing it off as well jesus christ i feel like the camera is making them look worse than the actually on person camera you'll be fooling me okay so once you've took your pod out of the packaging you it's like shaped the same way as the bottle so you can just place it on now initially push it right down but to activate the pod when you want to drink you lift it up slightly to like there's a little mark where you lift it up to on the bottle and then that means when you have a drink oh wow that's a good scent i really like that flavor that has not let me down peach is one of my favorite drinks so this is a good one for me ah oh my god it's so good Okay, I'm happy with that one. That's going to be my flavour of this week. But yeah, so you do have to pull the scent pod up to activate it so that you can, like, taste the scent. But also, I wanted to tell you, is a mistake that I made when I first got my bottle is when I was drinking it, I was pouring it all over and the water was, like, sometimes, like, you don't need... Like that. That's what I'd done the first time. Was trying not to do that again. Was only demonstrating to you. But, um, yeah, you don't pour it up. You don't have to do that. You just suck. A simple suck is all it needs. <laughs> a simple suck is all it needs. Oh my god. Why does that why does that sentence sound bad? A simple suck is all it needs. <laughs> Christ. Anyway, you just suck. You don't need to pour it up because you will get wet. That's what happened to me. So I want my bloody pants now. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to jump in and tell you about the Aero Bottle because I really have been loving it. It's encouraged us to drink more water. I really love the scents. You can not taste them as well. A lot of people have asked us, but can you really taste them? And I'm like, you really can. Just try it. You really can taste them. But make sure you are activating the pod or else you probably can't. But yeah, you do need to activate it. But once it's activated, you can taste them. It's amazing. It's a miracle. I love it. You can also use the code DEMI10 to get yourself 10% off the website if you would like to try an Aero Bottle for yourself. But yeah. Okay guys, so I've just been doing some charity shop shopping. I'm going to do like a separate haul video because I've been going to a lot recently. But I'm absolutely gasping, so I'm going to have my apple juice. I feel like I've had this before. I'm hoping it's like apple tizer. <laughs> wow, it is beautiful. Really nice. I'm still dead full off my breakfast because it was quite a big breakfast so I feel like I won't need any snacks till I go for me lunch. We have arrived at Sainsbury's for lunch. Cafe!
Okay guys, so I'm in the cafe now. Good job, um, I'm not starving because there's not really much here uh, vegan wise, but I did get a diet coke and then I got a little tub of melon and grape. And then I also got this, which is the free from brownie. It's gluten free and milk free. I think it's vegan. Ah, it's not. It's got egg in it. I'm not having that then. Well, that's a disappointment. So yeah, I'm having this and this. To be fair, I'm not that hungry. They did have a vegan sausage roll, but I just didn't fancy that to be fair. So I'm not gonna have that. Um, so I'll probably go for my tea a little bit earlier, which is good because I actually looked up earlier today and Morrison's cafe shuts at six o'clock. So I would need to go earlier for tea anyway. So I really hope I've got something good in. Well guys, I was in and out of there. That was an absolute flop. I've had me pot of fruit. I've got me bottle of coke. I'm just taking that with us. But yeah, if you're vegan and want something, <laughs> I don't recommend seeing freeze. I don't think it had the best options. So I'm gonna give it a two out of 10. I mean, it had an option, but I didn't fancy it. And to be fair, they didn't even have that many normal options. So yeah, not the best cafe from Sainsbury's. They're a little disappointed. Okay, before anyone comments, since lunch I've been filming other content. Um, I actually filmed like a charity shop haul and stuff. Hence why I now have makeup on, my hair is curled and I'm wearing a different outfit. It is very much the same day, but I've been having a proactive day. Anyway, we're at Morrison's. We're going to go in to the cafe now and get some dinner. I'm also going to try and pick up a snack for tonight as well because I usually do like a snack later on. So I'm going to try and pick a snack up as well. But yeah, let's go to Morrison's. Well, that's a shambles because they've closed an hour early. I've just, whew, I'm out of fucking breath. I tell you now, wait there, I'm hot. Whew. I've just ran in there trying to get my cafe meal, but the shot. It says online that the cafe shuts at six, but it must just shut at five because it was all shot. So that's disappointing. And now the only option for us is Asda, which has a McDonald's in it, which not really what I wanted but that's what I'm gonna have to have because I've looked in the area and none of the other supermarket cafes are open past five o'clock so that's me annoyed disappointed and heartbroken I'm just kidding I am actually annoyed because I really didn't want it I just don't fancy the options I can get at McDonald's but it's that or it's an out love so I'm not gonna skip me tea, I tell you, because I do love me tea. I love me food. So I'm gonna have to go to Asda and get McDonald's. So now me and me little ugly fake Primark Crocs are toodling in at Asda to see if they can salvage tonight and this video. There it is guys, my veggie wrap, my chips, my ketchup which is spilt on the tray. Not great. And I did get a bottle of water as well because I have lacked water today. I haven't drank much. So I'm just going to have this and then yeah that will be me tea. I'm so disappointed that I couldn't go to Morrison's cafe. I really want a throw but as that and McDonald's has saved the day as always. I feel like McDonald's is the type of place that always saves the day because when you're on the road you can often find a mcdonald's there's quite often a mcdonald's and airports actually i'm speaking a load of shit burger king but i just feel like no matter where you go there's quite often a mcdonald's also guys i feel like this mcdonald's used to be like an actual asda cafe but i've only ever known like as far as i can remember i can always remember mcdonald's asda having a mcdonald's but i'm sure my mum said it used to be an actual cafe if you live near an asda do they have a cafe or a McDonald's or is it just this one that has a McDonald's? 
and as quick as that we're done I've got a bag of carrot sticks for later and that is it so that is my 24 hours of eating from supermarket cafes obviously we had a bit of a change of plan mid video but out of my control anyway I really hope you've enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you've got any other 24 hour challenge videos you want us to do then let us know in the comments below I love to hear your suggestions and I want to bring back more 24 hour videos but that's it for now bye